Hello again. I've been looking around YouTube. Still getting used to it. Still getting used to doing these videos. Uh, a lot of people have been uh, posting reviews, more their personal opinion than really a review, of uh, Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man's Chest, the second in the series of three. Uh, a lot of people that posted these reviews kind of had some negative things to say about it. I don't really know. I think people are being a little bit too critical with this movie. Uh, it's just meant for fun, folks. I mean, some guys went as far as to refer to the Kraken, the uh, pet monster of Davy Jones, as a particular female body part. Uh, I'm not going to exactly go into too much depth of that. Uh, needless to say, the supernatural elements of this movie are bumped up quite a bit compared to the first. Uh, it kind of splits the movie into two parts. You get the first half that's, you know, more swashbuckling pirate, and the second half that's more, you know, the supernatural fighting with Davy Jones type stuff. Uh, you know, there, it, it's really, it's an enjoyable movie. Don't really expect it to be the same movie as the first movie. That's the big thing to look for here. It's not supposed to be. You know, just like, you know, the Star Wars trilogy, you know, Empire was a bit darker. Well, this is a bit darker. You know, uh, there are some. There's a big scene at the beginning that maybe not be good for the kids, but you know, after that, it's all nice family fun. Uh, I will say there's a little bit of foreshadowing in this movie. Uh, I think this may be just me speculating at this point, but there is a particular locket in Davy Jones' possession, which you do see an exact re duplicate of it uh, earlier in the movie. I won't tell you where. You, you know, have a you know, keep a good eye out. Uh, this could have something to do with the third movie. This could be just me talking out of my ass. Uh, it's something to look for. It's a little interesting when you notice it and realize, you know, act, pay attention to the mannerisms of the conversation, as it were. Uh, and that's probably about, you know, all I have to say about that movie. I say, go see it. Take the kids. Remember, it's PG-13, so don't take the really little kids. But uh, go see the movie, enjoy yourself, and, you know, 